what is going on? It is the Obscurus Tourist, and I have returned to my hometown of Bramley, Ontario, Canada. And for those of you who know where that is, I remind you that it is not Brampton, Ontario. Bramley is actually a suburb of Brampton, which makes it a suburb of a suburb crazy but here i am and today i am going to conquer a childhood fear right behind me you see that see that thing that little sign there that says do not enter that is medusa's cave medusa's cave used to terrify me as a kid of course as i've gotten older i realize it is nothing more than a Storm water divergence tunnel. But let's get real, that doesn't make it any less terrifying. There could be monsters in there. Not just Medusa, there could be Pennywise. Who knows what's in there? I have to admit that I've never actually seen what the hell is in there because I have never gone in there with a flashlight. I have entered it many times as a as a, as a young lad, because it was a coming of age bravery thing to do, was to go in there and make it all the way through. And I'm not really sure how long it is, but I have kind of read that it is somewhere around 1,500 feet long. That's pretty, that's pretty long in pitch blackness as a kid. But I've got a flashlight today and I'm gonna conquer this thing. I'm going to see the things that I've never been able to see before, right here in Bramley, Ontario, inside Medusa's cave. I'm a little scared. Let's go. The Storm Creek goes through some of their smaller underpasses. And then it reaches this beast, Medusa's cave. And I'm gonna show you just the mouth of it because I wonder if it's as terrifying as I remember. Oh yeah, that is, that is pretty scary. So it makes a left about 50 feet into this drainage tunnel. And that is where it gets pretty terrifying. And this is kind of interesting. It looks like at some point, the city of Bramley must have put gates on the mouth of this to prevent people from entering. Safety was not a priority when I was growing up, that's for sure. So this is definitely a millennial addition. As I said, I have not entered this storm drain, storm tunnel. I'm not even sure what to refer to it as, but I haven't been in the, inside this in over 30 years. So I'm a little nervous. I go to a lot of weird places alone, but for some reason this is freaking me out a little, but I've come armed and this is going to be a little bit nerdy, but check this out. Check that out. Look at that. You know what that is? Boom. That's a flashlight holster and I'm going to rock it because I've got my testing it out for the first time. It is a through night. TC-15, and what better to place to give it a go than inside Medusa's cave? Let's go. I'm probably about halfway in from the entrance to the first left-hand turn. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I am, I'm a little scared. 
there is the turn. And you can see down there. Switch on this flashlight. Oh, there we go. You can see the first turn, and then it turns again to the left. So it gets you further and further away from the light. Which, yeah, okay. And check this out. This is when you know you're you're deep in here because you are under the first first manhole cover. Looks like a giant echo right underneath the road. If you are like me, you're probably wondering, hey, why is this place called Medusa's Cave? Well, it is a question that has run through my mind many, many times throughout the years. And, you know, I showed you that kind of shot of it, the mouth of this little tunnel, and it looks eerily similar, kind of, to Pennywise's lair from the miniseries Hit. And, you know, why not call it Pennywise's Lair? Well, the miniseries for It came out in 1990, and this place, this place actually precedes that by many, many years. Maybe not many, many years, but at least to 1981, which is when I first kind of heard inklings of it. I wasn't old enough to know what it was at the time, but Medusa's Cave comes from a movie that was released that year, and that movie was Clash of the Titans, a classic. So it makes sense that this would get its name from that movie. That's the theory anyway. So this is the kind of stuff you have got to avoid down here, and it doesn't look like anyone has been down here. Maybe kids don't try to prove their metal in dark, scary places anymore when they're coming of age. Because this, this is pretty much the only way to walk. And check out that straight away. That is, there's so many spider webs down here. This was definitely not a problem back in my, that, there's one right there. This guy is pretty mad that I'm in his home. And if there are any children watching this, young adults, young teens watching this, I'm going to give you the obligatory warning. And I'm gonna tell you, don't try this at home. And especially do not even attempt to come into a storm drain or storm sewer when it's been raining, or right after it's raining. This can fill up real quickly. It hasn't rained here in a couple days, so I know I'm safe. These things were always terrifying to me whenever I'd walk by them. If you've ever seen Chud or any of those horror movies from the 80s, you'll know what I mean. It is just insane how many spiders are down here. I'm gonna have to rename this place Spider Cave. Ugh. These little offshoot sewers. Are they sewers? I don't know. Whatever. Scary to walk by them because you think something is going to come out and grab you. So you always avoid it. 
walking close to them on the side. So I would have saw this one and I would have crossed this little river of goop to this side and continued on until I came across the next one on this side and I would have recrossed. It's, it's brilliant, really. Oh God. And I just found this and here is an ode to Medusa Caves Past. Well, they don't know how to spell Medusa, but damn. Damn, girl, you let yourself go. Say that out loud. This was also another really terrifying part of the walk through here is this sort of storm tunnel divergence. These two tunnels, this one was always blocked up. No idea where that goes. And this one never entered it because, well, there's always a lot of water in it. Not a lot in there now. I could probably go in there, but uh, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna attempt it. I just want to get this over with. Scary though. I don't know why. My heart is beating fast. Like it is absolutely ludicrous to think that I used to walk through here in the pitch dark. What does this say? I was here, but now I am not. I went outside to, I don't know. Let's continue on. To die or not to die, that is the question. certainly in the thick of it now. Yep. You know, I was starting to get a little concerned about the graffiti in here, but check it out. Someone drew a couple really nice penises right on the wall here in orange, no less. Huh. And who are these guys? All right. So basically, back in the day, I would have had this entire walk memorized. Every sub manhole, every ladder to avoid, everything. And I would have just touched the wall if I wasn't completely sure of where I was. And that is kind of, I don't know. I wish I had that bravery of youth deep within me. Is it, is it inside me? I don't know. Well, I'm here and I'm conquering it because every time I've thought of this place over the past 30 years, gave me shivers. I've definitely run through 
this place screaming more than a few times. More times than I'd like to admit. So, yeah, I'm afraid of cat. What can I say? And yet another spider. He knows I'm here. Or it could be a could be a lady spider. I hate spiders. Who doesn't? Who loves spiders? You gotta be a psychopath to like spiders. Holy crap. We are at the end of the line. We've made it through Medusa's cave in one piece and without being bitten or mauled, attacked or crawled over by spiders. Look at this. There was nothing here back in the day. It's just this little concrete and now it's overgrown like a little forest. Pretty interesting. Well, if you've ever wondered how long it takes for trees and overgrowth to grow this much, 30 years, because that's the last time I was here. I don't know if you enjoyed this or not. Uh, I was a little scared. Maybe it was just for me. This is a video just for me to conquer what is hidden and scared, the scared little boy deep within me. But I think I conquered her, Medusa's cave. I conquered her years ago as well, but this is the first time conquering her as an adult. Actually, that sounds really creepy. So I'm gonna leave you with that. So long, stay safe, stay beautiful, and until next time.